<laughs> yeah, he had sex with it. He told strangers about it. Oh. Oh my god. Hey, are we live, man? While Michael swirls his flatulence up into his nostrils. I can't tell it's affecting the frequency. Anyway, yeah. episode number fucking twenty six of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We're here in James's shed because we're in between homes, but now we can tell you it's good. We're gonna tell we're gonna reveal it to Matt on the podcast, but the fucking real estate send him a text message congratulating him. Because he'll be living in this house. We have found a house. Matt is the caretaker. So <laughs> That's unbelievable. We finally found a fucking house and it's not a bad house, it right? It is. Oh, man. It shits all over my old Yeah, yeah. It's like a nice house that we can enjoy for like the next year. So we're going to work there from there. We'll have the podcast there. We'll do all our filming there. It's, there's a fair bit of land. And Matt is going to live there. You dumb fuck. You have no idea how dumb that is. Your life is fucked. <laughs> his room will be called the Have Hole. Yeah, his room will be known as the Have Hole. It'll be the sickest little corner. And I'm sure he'll do his own things and put spider webs up all over the walls and shit like he He's, likes to do and put heaps of air con in there and make sure there's ice on the floor. He actually said the other day that he's just going to have the bin in the kitchen as his room, I think. Well, whatever you want to do, Matt. Anyway, we get the keys <laughs> this Saturday. So next week we will have a new podcast set and that podcast set we will have for like a good solid year and it's going to be good. Things are looking up. We finally did it. We, it was so stressful. We had to get insurance. Yeah, it was... Oh, man. We had... Someone had to insure us in order for this to happen. Like, it's been a really difficult process trying adult. to juggle... A lot of adults. We're like, I'm trying to like rush the insurance guys, like, hurry up and find someone to insure us and also keep the real estate calm. Like, yeah, don't worry, man. Yeah, we'll have insurance within the next 24 hours. No worries. And then juggling that all week. And then here we are, we have a fucking house and it's nice. You'll see it all. We'll do a fucking house tour on the website. That's for sure. Oh, yes. We love our little house tours. TV Cribs edition. This will oh. be a good one too. Yeah, yeah. finally. This will be our, be first, this will be be our first good house that we have. It's the first good thing we've ever had. Apart from the van, the van used to be good. It's, the van's our only asset. The house that we're, we'll be renting is the first nice thing that someone's letting us use. And the van's a bit shit now. It smells like coffee. Because <laughs> so it's it's you've got to be... clean it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking fuck that. It's exciting times ahead boys I fu We fucking did it But hey We're gonna buy a house But shit got crazy Yeah So we're gonna rent Now And then just save up And then hopefully after this This renting period Imagine we could buy a castle Dude that, That's the dream Is there any castles in Brisbane? Yeah yeah There's nine There's nine really? Yeah yeah In North nine. Brazil alone James Cook go. and shit loves castles and shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bot <laughs> Botany Bay. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, what else do we have to talk about? We went oh, to the yeah, Ecker the and Ecker. fuck. All right. If you honestly think that the Ecker is something to rave about and it's fun. Oh, here we are. I you knew this was coming. Such a fucking, <laughs> I knew this you are was warped. <laughs> yeah, I eat shit. Yeah, I, I have golly bottles. But fuck me. The rides there, yeah, they're quite scary. No, no. The the thing about the rides, right? Oh. Everything just goes in circles. Everything just makes you dizzy and nauseous. And oh, everything's like ten times the price that it should be. And it's it's literally like probably it's like a shit, really shit Olympics. version of the Olympics. Yes. Well, I was going to say Commonwealth <laughs> Games, but or even like Dream World. You pay the same price to get in the Dream World, and at least you know you might see a family die. But you, the, you might have to explain what the Ecker is for people the who have like, no idea. Like, well, it's like Brisbane's carnival. Every year, every city has like their own little carnival. A show. It's like Brisbane's show or carnival. And show. it's not like there are some cool things about it. There's some oh, cool food. The animals. You love the animals. Marty's fun. obsessed with the animals. Uh, patting the animals is always a great laugh. Anyway, we vlogged it. It'll what be out the on the wood website. Shopping? We, Michael and I, yeah, there was nah, a funny, yeah. there's, a, there's a guy who goes around to pick up all that shit from the animals. Oh, yeah. And we walked up to him and his wheelbarrow full of shit. And we're like, that's not shit. And we started like putting our fingers in it and stuff. And like, dude, that's not shit. That's yeah. not shit. He didn't break. Uh, like He was, he was, yeah, he was like, like, no, no, no it's even, definitely yeah. shit. He was so chill about it. It was weird. But that's but just a taste like, of what's in the vlog. Oh, man. Yeah. Look, it, it's for website only because it's just. 
Yeah, it's it wouldn't be worthy. It'd be weird putting a vlog. Yeah, on our. If we put that on YouTube or Facebook, you guys would be like, "Dude, what the fuck is this? Why aren't you guys fucking maiming each other, cunt?" Mm. So it's for website only. We know the podcast fans are different too, but uh, yeah, obviously we can't put a vlog on the podcast. I can't watch it. Well, you can. All you have to do is enter your card. Do you even have a fucking card, cunt? Do you have a fucking card, cunt? No, stay off the grid. Yeah. In your bra, you do. You work. You live in our little house now. You sell concrete to corporations. You're the cunt. caretaker. You are the fucking corporation cunt. You're the you're the head of the snake. <laughs> <laughs> Spitting concrete out. <laughs> New building. New yeah. building. New building. <clears throat> anyway, we got a very good um, episode for you t- today. We got. Uh, what do we got? We got lying to Lockie. We'll fill you in when oh. that segment rolls around. It's it, it's a hail mary. It's a big big lie this oh, week. Then we have Bachelor Brown. James will be joining us on the podcast. He's here. James. James Hello. is ready. Then we got prank call. The screaming segment is back. The black and, book and and the, of course all of the other shit as well. We're not we're Bible German segment. We'll probably have to miss again and probably PO box again because it's a jam packed episode. It's fucking huge. So strap yourselves in, your dogs. And before you continue listening slash watching, we are running a comment competition. Do you understand? We are going to give $1,000 to one random person who has commented during this entire season. So we're going to pick one comment from the entire season for all of the comments. Mm -hmm. So the more time, if you comment once, you're in the running to win the $1,000. Okay. If you comment twice, guess what? You've just doubled your chances. What happens if they come in a third time, Matt? They form third, third, time, third right? times chances. Basic okay? math. It's basic maths. Four times, four times the chances. So if you comment one hundred, one hundred and yeah. the chances. So it's basic <laughs> maths. So fucking, we'll pick it at random. So get commenting because the more times you comment, the more chances you have of fucking winning, and that's cool, man. Well, like it's just an easy way to make a bit of money. Yeah, it's financial advice. We're that a we bank, give. sort of. Yeah, we're loaning and shit. We get Matt a house. Oh, don't worry, Matt. Here, live here, please. Oh, oh, oh fucking oh, 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 oh. Stop. Yeah, oh, it wear, sounds nice, I reckon, isn't it? I reckon oh. you have to wear a robe. Yep. The when caretaker's robe. King and Brown. And it's a dress. It's a wedding's a wedding a used wedding dress. I think he you does just that went anyway. From robe to wedding dress. Okay, well, that's what I said. Which one do you want? I want the oh, wedding I dress. I think a mix of the two. Anyway, it's yeah. You're in for a... Oh, I can't wait, man. Are you going to get a dog? I don't know, but I'm definitely going to... I'm going to enjoy bounding around that... Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Filch from, Harry Potter. Filch from Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to grow a bit of hair, though. How can we do that? He would you... If we to... paid for it, Matt, would you oh. get hair plugs only on the back section of your head? No, 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 no. I've got an idea. I don't need... Pl- Matt, my hair grows. You there. have to grow your hair out. You're not allowed to shave it for like five years... <laughs> And we'll give you a we'll five give you a fair, Dude, We'll give you a fair every, amount of money every week. You don't shave your head. We give you a hundred dollars. That's no. not worth it. Oh, I reckon it's what? fucking worth it. No. You're making five k a year. Five grand to, five to not shave year. your head. Just wear a beanie, dogs for five years. That's like years. fucking one tenth of your wage. Like five, or probably half your wage. No, I'm not yearly wage. That is a poor <laughs> offer. I reckon. Okay. I'm worth more. No, no. Okay, dude. No, imagine no, no. you with stringy weird hair. Like the back hair, like the oh, that fucking Harry Potter character. Yeah, I would love you like that. I would embrace you. I'd fill you up more. I stand with that. Stop anyway, stop it. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's quickly pump out these fucking sponsors because yeah. we got a lot on. Hey, um, everyone who's listening, um, why don't you sit the f- sit down, sit down and, and open your laptop? Okay, that's available. Have a look at it. Bang! Virus! You've just <laughs> fucked your whole life up and you're dead, cunt. Because you're out on the streets and you've been thrown out because the government knows where you live, you dumb bitch. Fuck off and get NordVPN, you stupid pigs. All of you are so fucking dumb and twisted. You want you want just sit there and let them all take your data. Let them gobble it down, dickhead. Fuck off! NordVPN will protect you like hyenas protect carcasses, cunt. Ooh, that's good. I like the double Wait, There's something I've got to read. Hang on. There's something I've got to read. Threat protection deal. Are you under threat? I am. From you. Sorry. 
Threat protection deal communication will end on... <laughs> okay, ignore all of that. Uh, keep, it. Oh, you keep that in. Right, look, keep that in, Connor. Not VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, then fuck you. A VPN hides you. It hides you in the internet. It's like VIP. No shit. one knows where you are. You can't get fucking. You you won't get hacked. You can watch entertainment from anywhere in the world. So it's it's like if you're if you do anything on your laptop, you're gonna want a VPN. It makes sense. If you work maybe 10 minutes a day from... If you check emails on a laptop or your phone, NordVPN. NordVPN, use our discount code fully actual, okay? The link is in the description. NordVPN slash... NordVPN.com slash fully actual, and you get some cool shit, all right? What is it for fucking... Hang on, let me... No one who uses... Everyone who uses NordVPN... Is alive. Yeah. Everyone who uses NordVPN is alive. People who don't use NordVPN, most of them are dead. They do die eventually. Do the maths, idiot! If you're dead, you're not using NordVPN. So maybe go get it if you want to stay alive, dickhead. And that's Maclay Fluak Stin. <laughs> Let me just scroll up and find out how much it was Maclay again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, oh. where is it gone? McLeod Fush Cliel. It's like fucking and cut all that, Connor. NordVPN. Okay, you. It's 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 your money back guarantee. First of all, let me start by saying that. So if you're wondering, oh, oh I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's for me. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck it's up. It's money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you get your money back. No questions asked. Okay, it's like. If you sign up for the yearly deal, it's like $4 or some shit. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head. What do I look like? Some kind of nerd idiot? <laughs> <laughs> it's like $4 a month for a year. Plus you get a gift. Do you want a gift, Matt? Could be a diamond um, ring. No, I don't want to put my credit card content anywhere because I only focus on porn. <laughs> Idiot! He doesn't. Five dollars a month that. or some shit, probably less to sign up for a year. That's like half a cup of coffee or some shit, baby. Yeah, it's it's it's. Let's say it's <laughs> it's ba- it is free. It's basically free. Look, NordVPN is the future, and if you don't get with it, then fuck you. Yeah, no, that's um, I'll stand by that. Fully actual, okay? If you want all the perks, you get a lot of cool shit if you know you know us. If they know that you know us... You're pretty cool. <laughs> NordVPN.com slash fully actual. Link in the description. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. If you don't get it, fuck you. Actually, <sighs> nah, yeah, fuck you. And sorry. Hey, everyone. Have you, have you ever looked in the mirror and thought... <sighs> Fuck, I just want to... F- Fuck, what's happened, man? I've gone down some dark paths and now I look like <laughs> look like this. Yeah, you're laughing. You're re- relating to it. Matt relates. If that's you, then how about you go to manscaped.com, okay? Because these fucking legends have taken every great invention ever made for your appearance... And put it all on one website, manscaped.com. And better than that, we're going to give you 20% off because we know the owner can't. We the owner is one of our best mates. Yeah, yeah. I've, the actually, CEO of Manscaped says, oh, fine. Here, use this discount code, fully actual 20, and you get 20% off for everyone who listens to you. That's our gift to you. 20% off. Just at least click on the link and just go to the website and see what they have. Because to be honest, they have so many products that I don't remember one of them. Well, we've got some right here. There's the shaver, there's a shampoo, a body spray, a cologne, some undies, some ball wipes, the which body, is the our body wash, The shower body Look, wash is so good. Refining the gentleman. There's, there's, they went, the, these guys took off because they have a shaver that you can shave your balls in the shower. Okay. And it yep. doesn't cut you. It the doesn't. Nose well, trimmer. it doesn't. It, look, you still have to well. be careful, but it's far less likely to cut you. They got nose trimmers. Like, fuck you, man. Manscaped.com. Go to Manscaped. Go to Manscaped. Go to Manscaped.com. Fully actual 20, 20% off. Use it or get fucked. Say use it or lose it.
Use it or lose it. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. Pleasure. I'll send the invoice tonight. Pleasure. Pleasure. I'll send the invoice tonight. Use it or lose it. Anyway, and that's Manscaped. And our final sponsor, of course, is the University of Market, which is our very own subscription website where we post weekly videos. We haven't missed an upload for like two and a half years, by the way. Did you know that? Not one? No, not once. Really? Really can't. You haven't so missed like an upload at all. there's like 250 videos. No, not one. Oh, wait, 220? Yeah, there's like 220 videos at the moment. Right? Someone call that dedication. That's a big exactly weekend. Right. That's we, a big weekend binge. We, dude, it would. I worked it out. It would take you far more than a weekend that was to watch fucked, now. Man. <laughs> it would take you like it honestly. Caught in my fling there. It would take you like uh, honestly a week to watch it now because some a lot of our episodes are over half an hour long. You, f- so that Holy means fifty episodes would take you twenty four hours. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's it's, so it's much a, content. A, dude, we are good. it's unbelievable. And some of the shit on this, they have some of our no, they are. We have the best videos we've ever made on there, okay? Like the... Look, I don't want to go into it, but there's some good shit. What's coming out right now while people have listened? We had the... Oh, you you guys remember when we went to the red carpet event in Sydney? Oh, that got messy. We and we got, got fucked so, up and tried to so, meet Chris Hemsworth. We got so sloppy drunk. That's on there. That vlog is on there. You saw the stories on Instagram and Facebook. It was a wild night, man. And as well as the extended version of, of whatever prank is coming out. So it's just wild, um, um, wild shit. When does Brown Golf come out? Brown Golf oh. is is being edited right now. Oh, sorry. It's edited. Oh, actually, we've, we've watched the edited Golf. version. I watched recently. the version of it. You sent it to me. We, um, yeah, that's Did like you like what, it? Yeah, it was. It was really good. Yeah. So basically, it was me and Brown versus Marty and James in golf, nine holes. After each hole, if you lose a hole, you got to do a punishment. Them. And there's it's got really gross. It got and really it got weird close. in the forest. It got very the close. forest in the bushes. Yeah, yeah. Don't. That's not oh, revealing. Yeah, it got yeah. weird. I forgot about that. Yeah, I yeah. blocked it out. So that's coming mind. on the website too. Um. So we, we, you know, social media has all these rules, and like, yeah, yeah it's it's game. not. We we put out social media videos, and we see all the OG fans like these guys used to be funny two years ago. We want to put our shit on social media, but we can't. Hence the website. Your sellouts. Yeah, oh yeah. Basically. So if you can't do any of those things to help us out, that's totally fine. Okay. Just please like, comment, subscribe and five star review on Spotify because that keeps us going as well. If the money dried up, the only thing that keeps us going is the engagement and the reviews and just the women for Matt Brown. They keep the wheels turning for him. I didn't get any women. What all this? It's not exploded. Stop. No, we oh, can't right. have this okay, in Okay, all right. Look, we'll cut that bit, but we'll leave in this the end bit then where we're like, no, no, no. Matt can't just asked us to cut. There. Matt just asked us to cut something, all right? Okay, cool. You need to know Matt just asked us to cut something. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, break it, break it. All right. <laughs> Let's move right along, hey? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Flush. Oh, fucking flush. On this, this day. date. <sighs> On this day in 2003, Russell Crowe headbutted a taxi driver to death for taking a wrong turn. <laughs> Cops came and he headbutted them too. He grabbed their arms to hold them in place and then repeatedly slung hard and fast headbutts directly forehead to forehead. It was truly shocking to see, so they tased him and arrested him. He regained consciousness in jail and headbutted through the steel bars. He headbutted the guards. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. He escaped and police were too scared to chase him. Not knowing what to do, John Howard, who was the Prime Minister at the time, called Russell and said he's free to do what he wants. Russell said, give me a footy team. John Howard said, yes. Don't fuck with Russell Crowe. The, <laughs> that's why he bought the Rabbitohs. Well, it sounds like he didn't. He, he got was, given the Rabbitohs. Given the Rabbitohs. Given the Rabbitohs. John Rabbitohs. Howard. If I ever met that man, if, why are you called that, you I fuck? I don't mind him, eh? I'm all right with him. John Howard. Yeah, I know. There's an so, actor called John Howard as well. There was. There's a Such few. A they, they look exactly the same. I think they're the same person. Is oh. it, I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same, they're the person. same person. Yeah, man. Um, all right, guys, it's time for a segment that um, this is probably the most wholesome segment of the whole show. Uh, Michael has basically written down wholesome, you say, every piece of wisdom that has uh, been produced in his brain and squeezed out. He's written it down in a. And this what one's is good. 
It's a Very Bible, good. to be honest. It and to be honest, it matches the the actual Bible in my opinion. Well, anyone can write a fucking religion. And Michael's proved that. And during this time, he's not Michael. He is Jesus. Jesus. It's Jesus, but B. Because yeah. Jesus was not. He wasn't being. Very B when he was hanging on that cross. Especially oh, now he's dead. That's like just relax, man. Just yeah. Be a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> simple, simple math. It's simple maths. Okay. Well, I'm just getting to that page. To <laughs> okay. All right. This is chapter 888. Reading is like talking if you read out loud. See? So let me read some more. Sometimes times have some different times than other times. Example, if the time is three o'clock, then that time is three o'clock. And if the time is four o'clock, then that time is that time. Clocks are time's keepers and watches are their leashes. If there were no clocks, there would be no watches and time would run away Telling everyone I gotchas. <laughs> Sorry. And that explains it for me. That answered a lot of questions about time that I had. Matt? See? Matt agrees. Well, uh, thank you, Michael. That was uh, truly... Um, that was beautiful. Inspirational. It, it feels like poems. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it feels like poems. It's poetry. It's a book of death. <sighs> All right. This is the book of death. Okay, now it's time. You go from the, the Bible to Lucifer's Bible. We must have light for there to be dark. And here comes the dark. All right, I'm about to read to you an excerpt from Matt's little black book. And this book contains every single sexual experience that this freak to my left has ever fucking done in his fucking life. And let me tell you, there is some fucked up shit this cunt's fucking been through. And you don't want to know about it. If this is your first time listening to this, skip this shit. Because you're going to want to call the cops. It's fucked. Oh. Fuck him. And Actually, fuck call what he's the cops. Done. Call the cops. Please call the police on us and show them this podcast. I don't feel safe. No one feels safe. Matt Brown's little black book. <sighs> okay, so last week, as you remember, Matt wakes up in hell and is taken to a party where he sees Julian. He finds out Satan fucks you to death every day, even though he's a VIP. Satan then fucked Matt to death and humiliated him by pissing on his back as he died. <laughs> he pissed on remember? your back. You know, is this like is this That's vivid in good. your fucking mind? Yeah, I was there. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay. It's getting warm. Have number 62. <laughs> I sat up once again in hell. This time no creature came to greet me, but I knew my way back to the VIP castle party. I stood, and the pain from my Satan fuck still remained. I scooped some Satan spunk out of my colon and slapped it on the ground. Then I started walking. Again, as I looked around, it was nothing but torture and screams. I kind of liked it. I made it back to the VIP castle and banged on the door. Paul Walker answered with a munted face. Yo, Matt Brown. Satan fucking nailed you yesterday, man. Holy shit. Not as bad as that car accident nailed you, though, Paul. I pushed the cunt aside and walked in. Again, loud Aussie hip-hop filled the air, and people were partying in the middle. I looked to my left. I watched Julian sucking off Kobe Bryant with four heroin needles protruding from his arm. Steve Irwin was circling Amy Winehouse, who was desperately trying to suck some spilt vodka off the ground. Steve Irwin, Steve Irwin was quickly undoing his belt, staring straight at Amy's asshole. You're all right, mate. You're all right. There was alcohol, drugs, and sex as far as the eye could see. I walk up to the bar. What do you recommend? I ask the creature bartender. He slides me a plate with a heroin needle, ten lines of coke, five different types of paint killer tablets, a bottle of vodka, five acid tabs and a meth-filled pipe on it. I look at the creature and he nods. Do it all together. You can't OD in hell. I pause momentarily. 
Fuck it. It is hell, after all. I consume the whole plate of drugs and alcohol, except for the meth. I'd only ever do meth if someone gave me a thousand dollars for it. The mix of the drugs completely alters my state of mind. I'm relaxed and euphoric all at once. Within minutes, I'm completely impaired. I turn back to the party and decide to join in. I storm into the middle and see a beautiful lady. She had flowing black hair and stunningly pretty face. I groped her tits and pissed on her legs and moved on to the next. Two human creatures with horse heads were dancing together. I eagerly grope in between their legs and show them my dick. My little brown was painfully hard and pre-mince was fizzing from its end. The two horse humans look at each other confused. I bang their fucking heads together and start fucking any holes I can find in their bodies. I squish their skin together on their backs and ram my dick in between the folds. A fucked, a fucked looking eagle thing flies over me and I shoot my arm up and grab its leg. It lifts me away from the horse humans and midair I start tearing its feathers out and stuffing them up my ass. The fucked eagle thing started flying out of control. I firmly maneuver my fizzing cock into the eagle's ass as it slams against a wall. The wall slam drives my fleshy fuck stick so deep into the eagle that I feel its ass tear wide open. We crash to the ground hard. I fuck down at the eagle thing for a bit and then turn back to the crowd. My vision is blurry from the heroin coursing through my veins, but I see a crumpled up heap of something on the ground. I drop to my knees and stab at it with my dick. I don't even know what it is, but I manage to find some sort of hole in this thing and start fucking that too. Suddenly, I hear screaming from across the room. I shit myself and pull my little brown apple out of whatever the fuck that is. Then I see him. <laughs> Satan has made his way into the room and he was fucking all the VIPs to death. I see Michael Jackson attempting to moonwalk away from Satan but Satan appears behind Michael Jackson and with a huge backswing slings his thumbs straight up Michael Jackson's ass. <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> drops to his hands and knees and lets Satan drill him into the ground pounding harder and harder until Michael Jackson was just a pool of mashed body. Then Satan turns and sees me. I'm still so fuckered I can barely process what's happening. Just let him fuck you, my friend. It's over the, the quickest way that way. I slowly turn and see that Hitler was standing next to me. Oh, no. Tomorrow, when you wake, come and find me. We can work together to find a play out of here. I lean in and kiss Hitler. The kiss was so perfect. <laughs> just the right amount of tongue and just a little bit of lip sucking. Hitler pulls away. See you soon, my friend. Hitler sprints away and now Satan is standing in front of me. My little brown is so erect that the skin on my shaft is beginning to burst like an overcooked frankfurt. Nice to see you've joined in today. I saw you have a few of the creatures who live here. Very impressive. I can barely understand him because of the cocktail of drugs I'm on. Why don't you get fucked, Lucifer? And then I spat in Satan's face. <laughs> A smile crept onto his face. Then bang! His hand shot out and grabbed my neck. He lifted me in the air so that we were eye level, then lowered me onto his massively dick. His massive, his absolutely massive dick. It tore open my ass and I screamed in agony. I didn't dare break eye contact though. I stared straight into his black, soulless eyes as his grip around my neck tightened and as his hip thrusting became violent. He fucked my dangling body as he held it in place and I could feel him mixing my internal organs with his cock. Then he slammed me onto the ground and got on top. Powerful, long fucks plowed into my ass, all the while Satan continued to choke me. I was blacking out when I felt it. Satan began coming. I still maintained eye contact and could see his face contort with pleasure. And then I felt his ejaculate pouring into my anal cavity. It burst through my intestinal walls and started filling my guts. Hot, foamy ejaculate then worked its way up into my lungs and started gushing up my throat. I began power vomiting Satan's creamy cum back into Satan's mouth. He willingly swallowed it from Satan's dick into me and out of my mouth, then back into Satan's mouth. This was the freakiest shit I'd ever done. Then moments later, I was dead again. I woke up where I started my journey once again. Fuck! No partying this time. I need to stay focused. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, my God. Man, that is some of the best shit Disgusting. I've ever heard. Disgusting. Holy fuck. I love the little pile of whatever he didn't know what it was. He just fucked it anyway. <laughs> he just 
fucked a pile of weird shit. <laughs> and you made out with Hitler passionately. And he's a good kisser. Oh my God, that was fucking good. Oh, I feel better now. I feel better. Thank you. <sighs> Man. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Man, I didn't think you'd get out first time. Like it take a, it's going to take some time to there's get a, out of hell. There's a few stories down there. Yeah. What do you mean? How do you ever get out of hell? I don't I can't see a way out of this. Well, she you. did. Look. Just yeah, I know, watch. but like I don't know. It just seems like you're saying this. It's just is, confusing. Maybe this is hell. Oh, who knows? You just have to wait. You but, fuck. Oh man, the eagle. Oh, there's fuck. always there's always a way. You always love eagles. Oh, and what Julian sucked off Kobe Bryant? Yeah, I think I remember him telling me about that once. I thought he was lying, but they had a game of one on one. Huh. Kobe won. Kobe won. Oh fuck, that was so that was pleasurable. Thank you. <sighs> um. Anyway, everyone, sorry about that. Moving right along. Um. Look, let's let's cut to the chase. Let's do the lying to Lockie segment. Holy shit, I can't wait any further. We have recruited oh the God. big guns this week, all right? It's the we, best one yet. We've reached it's out so to his dad and he's finally gotten back to us. So this is the lie. Lockie's dad's name is Matt, okay? Good name. He's a fucking legend. He's a good guy. We've parted Michael, with him. Yeah. I've made out with him. Yeah, Michael Michael and him get along like a house on fire. It's fucking Don't crazy. You should like imagine if you became Lockie's stepdad. I can't really do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But, but anyway, the lie is Lockie's dad is going to call Lockie and he's going to say that he's been audited and that he needs to borrow some money. It's a big lie, okay? This is risky. It's yeah, a Hail Mary. Michael wanted to go with this one. Look, I, I thought... I uh, wanted to say that he died or like yeah, he's yeah. dying from something yeah. really bad. Oh, look, we've, we've reined it in a little bit, so now he's just going to ask for money. But just to let you guys know this is risky this could crash and burn he could know straight away but if this succeeds it'd we'll, be the best we'll, lie we'll, we'll be heroes and it also tests if Lockie is a, a, an honourable good son because like yeah. I think regardless of how he answers he is an or, honourable good son okay it doesn't test that but I like to think that it looks no, fuck it it does yeah. <laughs> whatever Lockie says here this is the true Lockie if we get him so it's like hopefully the lie will lead to Matt, Lockie's dad, asking Lockie, can I have some money for my tax bill? And Lockie's like, nah, man. And we can see how him being a bad son. I don't what, know. The, what, what are we go either way. Do? What are we going to do if he says, oh, dad, I know you're lying. It's Marty and Michael, where are you? We just laugh. Then, we yeah, I guess us. he's got us. And nah, that's the- fuck, that sucks. That sucks really? a lot. Look, look, I just thought of it. I just thought of it. I don't, I, we cannot be bamboozled tonight, all right? If that happens, right, we're going to call Jackson. And we're going to get Jackson to call him and be like, oh, hey, dude, can you come around tomorrow at 12? I just want to film something. Oh. Bang, lie, fuck you, Lockie. Done. That's, yeah, yeah. So, That's what's going to happen if, yeah, gonna if we get caught. If we get I reckon he, he, no, Lockie will know we're lying. This is too big. So that is a good cover up. That, so yeah. this Does is he, basically the decoy for Jackson's Well, it, no, this is the Hail Mary. But if this fails, we do have a plan B. Yeah. Okay. That's exciting. I'm <sighs> Man, excited. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nervous, eh? You, you sent me um, Maddie's number? Yeah. All right, here we go. I have to check if Matt knows how to merge the phone. Yeah, with yeah. Matt. We, we, we've been planning this for days. For days. <sighs> I'm so excited. Well, hey, Maddie, it's Marty and Michael here and, and Matt as well. And we're on, you're on the fucking fully actual podcast, mate. How are you bloody traveling? Fucking fantastic, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sounds like Lockie too. Yeah, dude. We are look, Maddie, we are fucking so excited for this one. All right, so yeah. so um all right, well, let's let's try the call now. If he doesn't answer, look, he doesn't answer. answer. If he doesn't answer, oh fuck, we didn't go over that if he doesn't answer, eh? Hey? Then we I'll keep bring him. Don't worry, he'll answer. All right, all right, sweet. All right. All right, Maddie, we're gonna stay on the line. Um yeah, you do your thing and we'll come in once if we get lucky, hook line and sinker will come in. Good luck, dude. We fucking love you. Thank you so much for attempting this for us. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Man, I'm like genuinely nervous, eh? Hey, what's that? 
Yeah, fucking it's like it's fifty fucking four thousand dollars, man. I need a fucking. I don't. I'm sorry to ask you, but it's fucking. <sighs> sorry, man. Huh? Nothing. Stress. Stress. You fucking stress it, man. Fucking like I got nothing now, and I've got to pay you back. I'm fucking gonna lose that unit, and, you know. <laughs> That's fine. No, I'll trust us money. Uh, it sure looks like I saw it leaning it in next week if that's fucking like that too Yeah, yeah I'll do this on now. <sighs> Man, that's fucking that'd, that'd be awesome if you can do that. That you know, that'd help me out fucking heaps so much. That's right. that's, that's stress at all. Yeah. Well guess what, Rocky? <laughs> You've been lied to, you idiot! You fucking <laughs> idiot! <laughs> Good dad doesn't need your money, you fucking idiot! You need a fucking retarded. Oh, what the fuck? That is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh Matty, you oh, fucking yeah. nailed it, mate. Holy shit. Well done, Bailey. And well done, everyone. Except for Lockie. You got lied to. Oh, oh, oh my God. What the fuck? Uh, how much oh, are we going to send? How much are we going to send then, Lockie? I've <laughs> <I'm> 100. I've 100. Get him out for the morning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, that is. Oh, you got Gottfried. You got Gottfried. He's a fucking good son. Everything, everything is just genuinely. He's just such a. Good yeah, I'll help you out, Dad. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, no, no worries. Stress. How much you need? Yeah. Gottfried got Gottfried. <laughs> by Gottfried. Yeah, by Gottfried. Oh. You got fucking done. You got fucking done, brother. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, we got him again. Oh, well done, everyone. Oh, oh. My dad would never. never. <laughs> 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 we had to pull out the big guns this week. We had to get your dad on board. Look, I don't know what we're going to do next week, but fuck, man. We're it's running out of people. Oh, that was very good. Very good. I don't think I can get more friends. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust anyone any time ever, Lucky. It could be a lie, all right? <laughs> Oh, mate. Your life is a lie, Lachlan. You'll be in therapy uh, soon. You might not even be, Lachlan. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry for sorry for wasting your time again, and we'll chat to you soon. We'll see you on Friday, anyway. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, see you Friday. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done, oh, everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still wants his cactus. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that to you we'll eventually. I'll bring it to you, dude. I'll bring you. I'll bring it. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks, everyone, for helping. Thank fucking you, Matt. Matt. You fucking saved yeah, the day. Matt, dude. you're a fucking legend. All right, guys. See you later, eh? Boom! What? Be trusted, What's happened, shit. man? What's happened? I want to oh, go sit down. Everyone, yeah. everyone, sit down. What the fuck are you talking about, Matt? Sit down. Oh shit, Matt Brown, he's throwing the Manscaped products around in a fit of rage. All right, we're back, everyone. Oh, by the way, nice, Matt tried to go up for a piss during that bong break, but um, <laughs> Bachelor Bachelor Brown is about to commence. Bachelor Fuck. Brown is about to commence. Bachelor Brown is about to commence. Now, Matt, just remember that we love you and we do all this because we want the best for you, all right? All right, Michael's coming in. Sit down, Michael. Matt's uh, Matt's got a hankering. He's got a suspicion. I already fucking know. Just bring her in. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you think ha is happening I right know. Now? You know I know what, what you've done. What have, what have we done? Yeah, I can just read you guys. What have we done? Bachelor Brown is a segment, by the way, for those who... <gasps> To real dates, Matt Brown. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh. Ali, you come. You come. Ali, come on in. Ali, Hello. get the little cuddle. Oh, look who it is, Matty. Look who it is. Oh, 
You're not pushing her away like you were that male stripper, uh-huh. hey? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, you're much happier with this, aren't you? You're much happier with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor Brown is a segment where we try and find Matt Brown a future partner because he sucks at it. He's like 40 years old, doesn't know how to, where to go to find females. So we've taken it upon ourselves wow. to do it. And Isla is one of our favourites because she's an absolute legend. Isla, thank you for coming. Matt, are you going to thank Isla for coming? Yep. <laughs> now, now, since we've done this... You guys this, can't be trusted. Look, since we've done this, all right, I think that we should, um, like, we should all step out of the room and let them have a, <laughs> let them have a genuine few minutes. Put that, the cameras on. Let them have a genuine few minutes just, uh, just to chat. See what just happens. Just feel warm, warm. All right, so we're going to go... Uh, Matt, am I red? Matt, I can already Matt, feel Matt, I'm Matt, going red. Hey, Matt, before we go, Matt, Matt, hey, Matt. You remember, you know what to do, okay? Stay confident, project yourself. You're a confident, successful man, okay? Despite of how your life is, you're a confident, successful man, right? You can do this. This is your moment. This is it. Remember the conversations. I fucking hate you guys so much. much. Ask about them. Ask about them. Learn about their interests, etc. We've talked about this. Don't Coach, yeah, don't, Matt. Do not. You fucking keep your hands to yourself. You got. Oh, oh, let's go to headphones. All right, look, we're gonna step oh. out for a minute. See how it goes, Matt. Good luck, dude. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Are you actually leaving me? <laughs> this is like a little. Oh, I'm so scared. Are you actually leaving me? I don't know what to talk about. No, yeah, Matt this is going to be uh, so Matt, awkward. Matt knows what to do. Matt, you can do it. You go good at it. Wait, wait. I'll let you get my beer. All right. Matt. I feel like this is going to be even worse than a phone call. Don't show me <laughs> your dick yet. <sighs> I'm glad I dressed up today. Usually I just... Yeah, you look really nice. Yeah, thank you. You look better than me though. Thanks. Oh, this is so... <laughs> What are you doing here? <laughs> look, it was a long drive. It took me two hours. Yeah, I you. bet it did. So, yeah. Getting paid oh. by the minute, though. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Ask her about your day or something. Come on. How was your day? My day was good. What'd you do? Um, I did some work, actually. You did? You filmed today, I think, didn't you? Yeah. I saw something yeah. about that. Yep. <laughs> How exciting. Tell her, tell her what you're good at. Tell her what you're good well, at. How was your day, Matt? Oh, it was horrible. I had to work. Oh. So, oh. at my normal job. What's your normal job? I was job? busy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is partly your fault. I know. <laughs> this I is know. like kind of all your fault. You could have just I said agree. no. Remember when I said, would you actually well, they, come they, on? And you're like, me good money. You paid her to come on. She refused to accept payment. Before you go off. You paid her to come on. That's even worse. <laughs> she's a busy girl. And time is money. Time is money. And it's a she long drive. She refused, Matt Brown. She oh. refused. And we, we already transferred it. We, we, without her knowing, we paid her. Come on, Matt Brown. Oh, let's not. Oh, no. All right, fuck it. Grab it. Her. Try and have oh. a song. <laughs> go for the throat, Brown. Do you like my chair? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, you it's an ergonomics just, chair. Posture's getting better? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I even find at work I'm straight, just sitting in a normal chair. Yeah, right. Uh, Thanks, look, guys. we'll sneak in. We'll sneak in. So, um, how was it? That microphone's yeah, on, Michael. Is Matt a ball of charisma and excitement? He's a Pisces, isn't he? I am. <laughs> <laughs> what does That's that mean? That's all red and shit. Know. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that you're born on a certain date, and that date is Pisces. Right. Uh, now, look, um, Isla. There's, you know, our the podcast listeners um, have have been contacting you, haven't yeah, they? Yep. And and they're, they're, they're everyone's fault. everyone's really keen. Look, when Matt, because Matt off camera, and this really truly happened. Matt off camera was like talking about you a lot, and he was saying, you know, all these good things about you. He genuinely, truly was. And we were thinking like that. You really? are the, like the perfect. You are the fucking perfect person for Matt. So, I know you live at the Gold Coast, and Matt lives in Brisbane. But if Michael and I. Um, pay for the way. Pay no. Pay for <laughs> pay for the dinner at a re, at, at, oh, at the, 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 one the restaurant time. of your choice. 
We'll pay for travel there and back. Your Uber from the Gold Coast to Brisbane and back. We'll pay for everything. You can have cocktails. You can get loaded as fuck. Just a dinner on we'll get him us. A bag. We'll get you a bag. <laughs> if you want. If you want. A dinner on us. You guys are disgusting. Would you consider doing it? I know Matt's coming. He's trying to be like all like, oh, like like, oh I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that interested. Oh. But trust me, he's very, very interested. He wanks a lot. My OnlyFans. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would 100 percent say half the bottle he's accumulated is all oh. because of your image. I look. That's a compliment. I think I want to go home. Can you label it? Can you label the bottle? I look home. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah, just yes, Isla. we will. I'll just call oh. it Isla. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Isla, you know, if we we'll stay in contact with you, obviously. Um, would you? Would you? Is that something you're at least? You don't have to say yes or no right now. Is that something you're open to? Sure. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, Matt, I'll throw the same question to you. Would you like to have an all expenses dinner, really fancy dinner on us? With a uh, really beautiful uh, girl, Isla. Well, yes or You no? don't give me much choice, do you? Well, no, you got plenty of choice. The choices are yes or no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is working, cunt! It is working, cunt! Oh my god, we found it. We found you the reason look, to live. And look, we're not saying you guys have to get married. Let's just go and have some fun, you two. Like we love both of you. Just go and have a fun night out. Like stop, and, and just stop. and you don't have to. There's you no don't... way you're gonna let us go out without having some fuckery in the background. No, it's a, you have a gentleman's agreement. A gentleman's really? agreement. I want nothing but the best for you. Look, I'm wow. shaking Michael's hand. Shaking Michael's hand. You've even premeditated Look, this. If if you see us at your date, you can leave. Oh, oh, honestly, <laughs> I will do something drastic if you see me. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what what I mean. Yeah, not to you, to myself. Like I will self harm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that there you go. Is I'm that what you me. want, Matt? I just got a message from. There me. you go. So that means they're going on a date, and if you see me. Cut my upper thigh. <laughs> All right, Isla. Thank you so much for coming. Honestly, on it's such short time. notice, busy, busy girl, and we've been trying to get her on for weeks. I can't believe we got, you let's came see, wait, on. I've got. Okay, this is called. Um, this part of the podcast is called seeing if you really are a match, and it's shut up. I say something, you say a word, you say a word, and we see how similar that is. Right. I say a sentence. Okay, ready? Okay. All right. Um, orphans do not belong in, in orphanages. Wait, what? Orphans don't belong in orphanages? No, orphans do not belong in orphanages. They're not below. That doesn't make any First sense. First word that comes to your head after Michael's That was sentence. pretty similar. What? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Both confuse you. That <laughs> is such a wow. similar thing. Slow reaction. Have confusion. Oh, now you wow. do one, Marty. Okay, all right. A sentence. Okay, first thing that comes to your mind: um, uh, depression. Sad. Yeah, sad. <gasps> oh, oh my, my god. god! Holy shit! Holy, Holy shit! One oh. plus one. Do Three. Hey. One plus one. Two. Two and three is the same. That's so close. It's so close. Out of all of the numbers in the world, there's only one number apart. The same. You don't want to always. Yeah, be you want to have a little bit so of clash. boring like that. You want to have a little bit of clash. Yeah. So okay, I'll go good. one more. That's good. Um, Fucking, I'm kind of angry at you more than them right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't hit her, Matt. No. Yeah, come on. Not, not yet. Save to. that for the second. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> I'm trying to think of another <laughs> sentence. Um, okay, let's go with. Pictionary's okay, but look, I'm more of a Monopoly guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. At the same that time. The same time. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy so, I reckon, no, no, I'm going to say, it's fair to say you guys, it's the relationship started. Okay, sort of. well, that's just like, that's just for you guys. Like, you can take that information there, do it with it what you want, but you guys clearly have a lot in common. Or you're, and maybe you're together. Look, officially, exclusively. You're going to put my um, initials in your... Bio? Oh, oh, my Instagram bio? ID. Yeah, it's not ID. It's not ID. I fucked that oh, up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I.O. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, it's just... Yeah. I know I stuffed it, but it's easy. Um, all right. So, Isla, since we got you here, 
How have you been? You've been all right. What's it? What's it like being Jackson's brother? By the way, is that good or it's bad? Really good being his brother. <laughs> is it? What's the? What's the best thing and what's the worst thing about it? Oh, you can't put me on the spot like this. Okay, yeah, you're right. We didn't give you yeah, any. Look. Okay, the best thing. What's yes, the, we can. <laughs> we can put you on the spot, just like you put Matt, me on the what spot. What are you talking about? You you saw her before she came in, and sort Matt, of. You handled that this whole day quite poorly. You were put no. I was <laughs> Okay, I thought you were far better prepared than that. Okay, it was very awkward to watch, and we had to, I just thought, we had to intervene immediately. I told you it was going to be awkward. I just thought after being fucked around last week, <laughs> I thought I'd have a week off. It's sort of nice. You went from Dom, who was hot, to Isla, who's hotter. So look, it's a girl. You've got a girl now. It's definitely the best surprise I've had. Oh, yeah, so I see. So Every beautiful. now and then he softens, and that's when you're like, oh, that's oh, that's potential. why I do what I do. But how's your life been, Isla? So what? So what are you doing now? You doing mostly OnlyFans? Yeah, that's my only. Isla's OnlyFans, by the way. What is it? Isla O'Doherty. Mm-hmm. Isla O'Doherty. Okay, we'll put Dot it. Com. Um, dot com. Dot com. Yeah. All right, we'll put it in the description <laughs> if you want to see Isla <laughs> butt naked. Advertise- if you want to see yeah, Isla's boobs and bum, go to Isla's OnlyFans. Matt's done it. Highly recommend it. Sexy yeah. Mahexy. He's filled half you can a... You all start your own bottles. He's yeah. filled half yeah. a, half a cum bottle with it. Yeah. And, and send me pics. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Uh, and so you're still living in the in the mansion, in Jackson's right? uh, uh, in Jackson's first house. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, in the mansion. You're in the yep. mansion right now. Yeah. yeah. He's that's gone soon though, right? Yep. Another four weeks. And then what? Where are you going to go then? I'm going to Europe with my new husband Matt. Oh wow! wow. wow. Are you going oh, to Matt. Europe? Yeah. And then she's going to move into the Marty and Michael house. Well, there's oh, an invitation. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard? We literally just got. We haven't bought a house. We rented a house, but it's awesome. It's like a good, nice house, so and the only in. the only person living there will be Brown. <laughs> Literally, yeah, we got five. We, <laughs> we're gonna go there nine to five to like work, but Matt will be living there full time. So and if that's you why our kids. if exactly. you ever want to stay there, you have our blessing to stay there as long <laughs> as you want for as for as literally as long as you want. Do you want a bedroom to stay in for free? Perfect. All right, done. There's five bedrooms we can christen. All right, It'll done. Be easy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Brown's getting all horny. He's getting friskified. Oh, he's getting all creamy and hot. Oh, Pink steam bubbling in his nuts. Oh. 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 Why, why would you come? All right. I, know all right. I reckon it must have been the worst. Really Were you driving up and be like, what the yeah, fuck like, am I doing? In traffic oh, Thank too. you so much yeah. for coming. It must have been very nerve wracking. You don't know what you're coming into. Yeah, well, there's, we're very unpredictable. Yeah, all you know about me is a black book, and it's yeah. not good. Yeah, it's well, yeah. yeah. Oh, Isla, thank but you. Thank to you so finish, much. let's just see if there's a spark when don't you guys touch finger. <laughs> don't you no, dare! Just touch fingertips. Yeah, I agree. Look, Michael and I'll do One it first. Time, look, like there we go. <gasps> Oh, oh feel, wow. What like did that feel that? like? It's not smooth skin. Oh! oh God, we You've imprinted on we Matt now. Cupid. We are Cupid. You've imprinted on Matt now, and now you will be hunted for the rest of your days. <laughs> <laughs> but Isla, thank you so much for coming That's on. That's all right. Honestly, I'm sorry. You. Yeah, thanks for driving all the way up for this. You've Honestly, I guarantee you our podcast fans will really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who's been messaging Isla. Yeah, you got some good fans. I really like you guys. Yeah, and because you're such good fans, Fans, go and support Very Isla. Supportive. Follow her on Instagram, social media, and if Sign you feel like, only fans. Uh, but don't try and get slide don't in steal DMs. Matt. Don't it's steal Matt. Matt's bread. This is Matt's bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Let's clap that. Let's clap that chat. <clears throat> Embarrassing. Yeah, imagine if you were dressed in one of your fuckwit costumes, gun. <laughs> 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 Oh, we just said goodbye to Isla and um, like yeah, like yeah, she so she's such that. a legend, fucking such a legend, oh, and we love you, Isla. Yeah, and and we spoke, we legit spoke about the date out there, guys. We think it's gonna happen. We yeah, the, the fanciest them, restaurant you want, Matt. I'm not into like high and fancy like yeah, you I can know, eat I understand. crab. You I love crab. But you may as well like the options are limitless, is what we're saying. Like, like you know how we went to to uh, Greek's restaurant. Greek. Yeah, like not the one at. Not the one here, the one at um at South, uh, West End. Yeah, yeah, like that's nice, dude. Yeah, I, I yeah. Like well, that. whatever you want. Like you can go to a really like Italian. You can't go wrong with Italian. The, yeah, of course, even it'd be Italian. even it's fine dining Italian is like 
familiar flavors. At so least don't stress. You don't need to go Greek. to some random ass fuckhole. With Greek there, I'd feel comfortable. With like too. fucking ten thousand dollars for a fucking little egg or some shit. Do you want cunt? me and Marty to come? No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, look, how much it would? Oh man. No. We look. We want. We want. Okay, we yeah, want to put there. pressure on it. We want to be there, but. Guys, The Bachelor Brown, it's look, Isla is clearly the front runner here. It could be the way out of Bachelor and Brown. And also, though. next week, we're going to, we need a top five, Matt. We need a top no, five because. No, I'm going to date Isla and. Yeah, and that's end fine. This thing. That's fine. But we want Isla at the top, obviously, and then the four underneath her because oh. we need to know where, everyone needs to know where they're at and we need to contact, we do need to contact the top three, regardless if you're engaged or even married I've to Isla. Definitely got. Even married. Even married. Oh, we've Shit. decided it doesn't matter. We're still going to get the other two girls on. <laughs> they have to live with you guys. <laughs> they have to live with you guys. It's not going to happen. I've definitely, got, I've definitely got top two. One's Isla and one is... Um, yeah, oh, I can't say her real name. But um, All right. she, no, came wow. on as, she came on as Jess. So. All right. Wow. Well, look. Okay. Well, look, yeah. This is what good. about Dom? Yeah, maybe. No, what about um, Jasmine? Surely Jasmine. You, you yeah, fucking Jasmine, went on a day with her. Yeah, Jasmine could be in there as well. But Jasmine's it's, top five. It's so competitive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let, let's, we'll move on, but what I'm saying is so next week, let's nail down- top fives and top threes. No, we invite the top three onto the finale. The top five, I just want to know so that we can- we know like who is in the scope. So you've you got to back I mean? up if in case one drops out. Is well, that, that too. Yeah, that too. So we, we, next week- gonna, We're not getting them on. Next week, you we'll will work find your wife five. from this game. And Isla and Matt will be going on a date and Isla has been invited to live in the house that we have just found. Holy so. shit, that's right. So, you know, she might want to film some OnlyFans content oh. with the Brown. So keep an eye out. Oh, if you want to see the brown go to town, oh, if you want to that see could be your, the, that could be the your world's fan. top hang on, haver, hang on, hang on. slinging his cock up things, can't? Isla Brown's doesn't. town, you call it. Isla doesn't do hardcore <laughs> anything. Anyway, let's move along. Look, it, we're, it's getting quite late. We, we yeah, still have a lot it is. to get through. You're at an hour and 23 minutes on the clock. <clears throat> All right, guys. So um, without further ado, everyone's been asking for him. It was the top comment last week. When are we going to have James on? James is a lifelong best friend turned working for Marty and Michael at the beginning of this year and everyone's been fucking loving him he's the hottest fucking guy in the group he's got times a- 10 cunt he's fucking we finally have like seven female fans take your of shirt off <laughs> and James, James show us the bicep Mr. James on the podcast fucking finally cunt <laughs> alright James Oh yeah. my goodness, it sounds funny. I know, it's nice it's a bit and different, clear, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah, very. <laughs> All right, James, now, fuck, how long have we known you for? Since, like, uh, hell. we were in high school at that party that we met, right? We've known each other longer than these oh, two, man. right? Just? Oh, I think uh, you met them at the same, or maybe yeah. just before you met me. Well, Brown and I were blockbuster buddies. I think, yeah. we, I, think I was 17 and you were 16. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Do you remember the moment? It was pretty nice. I remember the moment. Let's all right. So we went to we went to high school. No, I'm too don't. high. <laughs> <laughs> we went wrong. to we went to high school with with James's ex girlfriend. All right. Yeah. So she was in Michael's year, right? And we were pretty good friends with her. And she's a legend. She is. We went to a party, and um, the James's ex girlfriend was there with James. We hadn't met James yet. And then what happened, James? In, in what, what? How? How the fuck did we get to know you? This is kind of a fucked up story. Really? It's not yeah. too bad. No, There's worse. It's a good story. Yeah, but the the people who were annoyed at us. Do you remember why oh, they were annoyed? Oh, yeah, I forgot that's, that part. Oh, I know. I yeah. don't know. Can we talk about that? I yeah, guess yeah. So. No, no, no. This no, is the no, fully no. actual that's, podcast. That's <laughs> no, it's fine. We do. We were <laughs> children. Right, this goes back to our stories of how we were really destructive. Yeah, and the, we don't <laughs> and we don't condone or endorse any of this behavior. But we were fucking children. Oh, and we're who thinking of different things. Who thought the dark humor was like the funniest shit in the world? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. So that- I remember doing that awkward thing at a party where you sort of walk around and just sort of associate with the people you know. <laughs> and I sort of glanced over at this dark little patch of because it was like in a huge open backyard, and there was just two guys standing there next to each other, abnormally both quite tall, and their pants around their ankles. That's right. Oh, yeah, and I just remember party. thinking. Those guys were fun. <laughs> We'd, every party we go to, to for a while, we go to the darkest yeah. corner and pull our pants down. 
and just <laughs> whenever anyone sort of wandered over to us, <laughs> I sort of noticed that our pants were down and then very weird. And do you yeah. remember always saying to each other before we went to parties, let's try and lose some friends tonight. <laughs> 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 that might help explain the interaction we had with James. That didn't work. It gained <laughs> you. It gained you a lifelong friend. Say that. It's yeah. Insane. Yeah, oh. but then it was, then it was just love, love yeah. at first sight. So mm. we just we then we sort of just I, I, re, I realized you sort of had a similar sort of sense of humor to mine, but more advanced in the sickness, which was <laughs> which was. I think, nice. Yeah, I think we weren't as caught up like we were you were yeah. more evolved than us and we thought everything dark humor was funny so what happened was there were the, it was a big party and we were you got to choose whatever music was on so we played this Coldplay song um, it's a very sad song and these guys came up to us Michael kept putting it on over oh. and over and I over. really liked the <laughs> song after he time. found out yeah after he found out <laughs> yeah. he kept putting he it on he continued no, to I, put it on I actually yeah. genuinely liked the song it is a very good Coldplay Liar. song <laughs> and it's sad and these guys were like oh um, like they were they to be Terrible. to be fair they were very rude without us even knowing why they didn't want us to play the song they were like abnormally rude like like don't fucking play that like just came up out of nowhere abusing us it's sort of like if you get told not to do something you sort of have to do it oh yeah and then it was that sort of so we they didn't explain it first off but so, it was too far aggressive so every to not play it again every chance we got put the song on <laughs> every chance we, we got well it took the second time for like things to escalate then, but like then they came over and say, oh, um, we find out why they don't want us to play the song. It's because their friend has died. And that's the song that they were playing at the funeral. Is that what it was? I thought it was their yeah. favorite song. And then, that's oh genre. yeah, actually, no, it might've been actually, you're right. You seem like such a nice guy right now, Michael. You were the instigator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like. <laughs> no, you no, might want to no, no, it probably, it probably sounds Holy worse. Shit, no, young it probably, and dumb. No, it probably <laughs> yeah. sounds much worse if they played it at the funeral. I think you're right. I think they said he liked that song. So it's like, if you've come up too aggressive at the beginning. Yeah. And then to he's kids. also said, oh, yeah, like don't ever his don't favorite ever, song. Like, he's being a fuckwit, and then he's saying, "Don't ever do this again." So yeah, well, look, we we played it. We played it's it all of, throughout the like, night. You get it's like a carrot in front of your face. Yeah, and it was very entertaining <laughs> for James. And that is where we. It was through our sense mm. of humor yeah, that we sparked that. the relationship. Oh, and James laughed and giggled at that. And the to fact be that fair, we did that, so we couldn't look, not keep playing it. Yeah, I, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just I had making it. our new friend laughing. <laughs> so I loved it. It was so much. no, it was me, it was very funny dude, for him. I oh, just, yeah. I just had an epiphany. I've just realized that so many of my close friends, the relationship starts with a huge. Uh, uh, horrific like, event no, yeah. no a connection in sense of humour for you yeah. it was the dumb shit you do at, at tennis with Henry I remember Henry was getting yelled at by a teacher and I'd never met Henry and I was standing behind the teacher I started making faces at him and Henry started laughing and then we both got kicked out <laughs> yeah. and that's why and with Matt it was oh, yeah, I mean you, hiding in a fucking no, boot of a car no you came up to me and you were, you were at front of the 7-Eleven I was just about to say hello and you went oh hey I'm Marty watch this and went straight in the 7-Eleven and started busting chip oh, packet so man. immediately yeah. it's a sense of humor that brings us together do you understand yeah, yeah. It's, beautiful that is? it's like i guess a bit dark at the time yeah in the spontaneity of ridiculous <laughs> oh, yeah yeah that many other people were hurt by our actions <laughs> <laughs> but we established some really lifelong connections through it so no rag rats brother Zero. yeah well i guess and you learn too yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. Yeah, we've learned now. We're much We older. wouldn't do that again. But anyway. Wouldn't we? No. There's one major thing. Maybe if they came up really. In? No. I guess yeah. no, if no. If they were really Karen-y, 100% we'd do that again. Yeah, okay. We'd probably do, I, I think we'd Maybe probably do something else. Yeah. I, I think we'd do something else to Sorry. upset them. We wouldn't play that song. Sorry. There's one major fact with James. The fully actual podcast would not exist with the three of us if it wasn't for James. It's 100% oh, right. If he glue. didn't invite me out, yeah, if you didn't invite yeah. me out to see a band that night, I would never have Yeah, explain James that. is the link. Yeah. Explain yeah. Ja James and Matt. Explain how you guys met. Yo, well, my mum knew you before yeah. I knew you. <laughs> yeah. she, she was, she's oh. like this big personality who would just come into the video shop and make friends with everyone. Mm. And she loved Brown because he had a sense of humor. And he was yeah, flirting, flirting with her. 100% right? trying to fuck <laughs> Very attractive 100%. mother. 100%. Oh, yes. And I can see. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is. She was. And the funny thing was, when she came with you the first time, I, the first time I ever saw you, I thought, oh, she's got a young boyfriend. 
Like that, that was the first oh, thought oh that went through God. my head. But then I realized when I when you came to the counter, you both sounded like loud and the, yeah. the same. And I was like, oh, hang on, I think it's oh, they're brother and sister. <laughs> but Mum gave Matt because she found out he was going on a trip to Mexico. She took a hat from me <laughs> without my permission. <laughs> And gave it to him to take an Australian hat so he could represent Australia and Mexico. First weird thing to do, mum. Yeah, Second, wow. don't take my shit and give it to my future best friend that I haven't even met yet. <laughs> she, <laughs> she linked it. She, she knew. knew. Yeah, she, she knew fucking Kaz has switched on. I actually spoke to you on the phone before I actually met yeah. you as well. Yeah, because I'd got yeah. a job, right? Yeah, yeah. You, got, you got the job at the video shop. And I walked in, I remember the first, like our first ship, you looked at me like, do you want to play a game? I went, what do you want to do? And I was like, and you're like, we got to, each time someone comes in the shop, you've got to address them differently. Oh, great game. So you can say, hey, oh. hello. And then after a while, the normal ones are all done. Then you got to go with something. Ciao. Hey, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you know, you had to get weird. <laughs> you had to use like a name for them. Like you'd, you obviously use, g'day mate, yeah. quickly gone. Can't use it yeah. again. Yeah. By the end, you're like saying, oh. Hey, young on. champion. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Go through animals like tiger. oh legend yeah oh, yeah. Stop. And it's, it's cunt. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> welcome cunt now speaking of when we were younger and now oh. james was ja look michael and i oh man this is such a good story and it's so funny because now it's like it's literally sort of become into existence My michael looks back in the day we used to look a lot like the lead singer from a band called gyroscope mm, they're not like yeah. massive but they're like they were a, a big australian band at the time and so if you heard the name gyroscope when you went out you'd be like you'd know the name but you wouldn't know what they looked like it's like a band on that level <laughs> Right, so we'd go out, Michael and I, I'd pretend to be the fucking bass player because I knew nothing about music. And James would pretend to be our manager. And fuck me, it worked so well. We had a free oh, yeah. night of at the casino. At casino. And we, just we, we were like 20 years old. And you had that car. Beers. Remember yeah, that fucking the car? The Chevy. Yeah. The Chevy. Yeah. It, Beautiful, the like old American car that <laughs> does not suit me. But yeah, anyway, I had it. It stands out. So you drive around in that and then you see us get out and you're like, oh, yeah, we're a band and James is the manager. <laughs> Everything sort of fit. <laughs> yeah. And Henry was living in the fucking penthouse at Aurora oh, at the time. It was so too we'd, easy. We'd tell people, oh, yeah, we live at the penthouse. Yeah. Like oh, everything man. just fitted into that narrative. It was perfect. <laughs> Do you remember the Swedish girl? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that whole night was perfect. We uh, went to the casino. Everyone thought we legit thought we were fucking famous. We, we were like, oh, I'll go buy this round, even though we had no money in our wallets. And everyone was like, no, 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 man, no, no, I will get this round. Seriously. Oh, man. <laughs> That's right. That dude cowered away from us because <laughs> yeah, he tripped yeah. over us. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for pumping oh. into you. I will buy the rest, like the rest of your beer. Oh. That was ridiculous. And now, isn't it funny? Fucking like 10 years later, over 10 years later, now it's sort of starting to play out in reality, oh, except yeah. minus, the, minus the fucking drugs and alcohol. Now, yeah, well, God. you know, we're drinking a wine now. I need to get the Chevy well, back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the high 30 oh, doesn't cut it. <laughs> Little Hyundai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I manage Marty and Michael. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of on brand though. Yeah. But now yeah. you do. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lovely. Uh, but there's always one story Michael and I love that James told us from back when he was a child. So again, oh, this is him as this, a child, and this is a mistake. This. Okay, this is this is obviously. Oh. Anyway, I'll let him explain the story. Oh. I've got to, I've got to defer. I've got to be to James' aid. Is it the one I'm thinking of that your mother doesn't know? And are you afraid to tell it? The fact it's that she time. Could find out? I think okay. it's time that she knows. If she this watches is this, the best she deserves story it. I've this ever is heard. The best way to find out. Oh, okay, man. Well, I was a pest <laughs> when I was little, so just ridiculous amounts of energy so um my parents used to like work out different camps that they could send me to on the longest school holiday just get rid of james so like it'd be a tennis camp and i sucked at tennis it'd be like a drama camp love that shit but like the, the one they sent me to was a horse camp like you go and learn how to ride horses how to kill horses <laughs> oh, yeah. and um there's this one kid there, the exact same kid as me. Like his parents wanted to get rid of him. He was a bit of a, a bit of a mischief maker. We just 
just fell in love. Like we were just like. Do you remember mates his first instantly. name? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'd I, love do, to I remember know his name exactly <laughs> what he looks like. Like little scrawny kid with like black yeah. curly hair. Yeah. Oh, imagine if it was me. <laughs> We'd be so happy. But yeah, we we decided one night we we had this class up the top like milking cows, and it was on the top of this huge cliff, and we sort of like looking at this cliff and sort of bored by the class by then. And we saw this like monstrous boulder. Like it was it was big. It was probably like twice the size of the podcast table. And we were like, we could get that off that cliff. <laughs> we could if we worked oh. hard at this, we could get it off the cliff. So we like, he woke up in the middle of the night and like woke me up and, and we were just like, let's fucking do this. So we like went <laughs> went up the top of the cliff, got like chunks of wood and like wedged it under this boulder and we're like rolling and pushing at this boulder <laughs> to try and get it over the cliff. And we we got it like right there and we we're like, just one more push with this and like you push, I'll wedge and it's going over. And surely it did. And there was just that beautiful like three seconds of silence. <laughs> you see nothing as this boulder's falling. And we're just waiting for the sound but we didn't know that the cliff like sort of wasn't at this angle it, it went like that at the bottom <laughs> like and it curved was, at the bottom yeah. it was rounded at the bottom like a ramp yeah so the sound was disappointing it sort of just went boom it's like rumbled <laughs> oh and we fucking realized that this boulder was quite round and it was rolling <laughs> there was a meadow of cows at the bottom of the cliff and this boulder like wiped out a cow. <laughs> it had no oh my chance. God. Cows sleep standing. It would have been in a peaceful sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Gone. God. It's evaporated. <laughs> it was like a rag doll. It just like flew off to the side so quick and like skidded along the ground and came to a halt and oh. didn't move. Oh. And we, we were just frozen. We just like stood oh. there and we were like, we going back to bed. We don't talk about this ever again. Oh, so you knew about the cow? Oh, 100%. I thought you didn't I watched find it out happen. till the day. No, they had a meeting the next day and they made us, they like sat everyone down. They were like, look, we're going to have to cancel this camp unless whoever did this. Because we left the wood at the top of the fucking cliff. <laughs> they would have thought you did it on purpose to kill the cow. Oh, God. Oh, Let's so that cringy. fucking dairy cow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, God. man, we wiped that thing out. <laughs> yeah, and then the meeting. <laughs> and then and then did you guys fess up? We did in the end. And they, they gave us the choice. They were like, look, we know it was an accident because we explained ourselves to them. We we're like, we weren't nasty kids. We, we sort of were polite and, and apologetic. And they were like, look, we got to send you home. But <laughs> we're going to give you the choice. We can tell your parents the truth or say that you're homesick. We're homesick. Oh, <laughs> like, really? Away, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, so so your mum would like, have been like, oh, poor James, he's homesick. Oh, come here. Yeah. And we're coddling you and rewarding you. Yeah. <laughs> She was suspicious. There's no Holy doubt. It was only like shit. six hours before the end of the camp. Like it wasn't that far until the end of the camp. That is a traumatic experience. Man, oh, kind of nice though. <laughs> kind of nice to watch. When they when they took oh. you out of your uh, your beds, did they take you to the dead cow and line everyone? It was up? at the top of the cliff. They sat oh. us down at the top of the cliff. Yeah. Wow, that is. So you're all up there wow. watching down at the dead cow. And can you imagine all the other kids just like looking at the where the boulder was? This huge like divot in the ground, all these sticks, and just thinking. What the fuck Who the is fuck going on? Yeah, yeah. What the, what happened? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. It that's was, fucked. It was terrifying. You should have fucking blamed someone Did else. Did you have guilt? <laughs> were, you like, were you just amazed that you clean? Uh, nah. <laughs> no. See, when <laughs> I killed the birds, clean? I was like, that's why I had to sort of try and find like a way to save the last one. Yeah. yeah. If I had killed a cow, especially, oh. I think the fear overtook the guilt. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. Like, I was so scared to get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, James is completely throttled a cow. Yeah, Julian oh, f***ed an alpaca, so it's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. An and you're a and kid. Let's not forget about Matt fucking that baby whale on the beach. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Before Pinocchio died. Um, yeah, so that's one of our stories. Well, one of That's James's, like, beautiful story. Oh, but man. There's, there's another I'm story. i have it. From from our um, early beginnings, we'd go out a lot, you know, in our early 20s, we'd go out all the time, all of us boys, didn't we? We fucking had a great time. And sometimes it, we'd be in a group, big group of guys and we would get into brawls, like full hard out brawls, usually started by no one other than fucking Michael. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every and, time. And we, we were talking about James coming on, we're like, sometimes. like what, what's another story we can talk about? And we thought about what's our favourite brawl that we've been in together. And the races brawl sprung to mind. Oh. When we went to the races and that brawl, man, oh. that, was that was a good brawl because we, we didn't, 
well, we didn't really instigate. We didn't it. Start they, it, they started no. the they started the physical aspect. We kicked their ass, all of us, <laughs> and they all got kicked out. Yeah. Like, like, so it was like the perfect three things uh, just to, just to be like, fucking, that was so good. That was so mm. fun. So Michael, what, so what happened was we were with a, some girls as well. And, and what happened again? Why did you fucking arc up and fucking start spitting at that bitch? <laughs> I didn't spit at her once, yeah, I know, I but know. she slapped. <laughs> and the reason was because she was hacking into our friend about, about her acne. Yeah, so this random girl right. I was like, "Oh, that's fucked. You can't just do that." And she it made out. And Michael really jumped sad. to her defense and and started uh, uh, abusing the other girl in return with like her faults. Yeah. Oh, no one is better. But like you, you're outstanding at that back in the day. You no, could like just pick well, because anyone's because there's floor. so much hate and you've got all the like ego and pride when you're like it's younger. Like receiving like, airline, as soon got as, it. Yeah, well, as lazy soon as, eye, got it. <laughs> like you just picked that instantly. But as soon as like you know, if that happened now, I wouldn't react like that. But like it made our friend hurt so bad, and we would loaded, hammered, fucked up, drunk. <laughs> and so Michael she starts picking at this girl. This yeah, girl starts rough. crying. She's slapping Michael. No, because hard. she made our friend cry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so she's slapping Michael hard, and Michael's just like, whatever, whatever. And she goes back to her group of guys that she's with, and a group of guys like edge over, and then we have a bit of a tussle with him. There's a bit of pushing and a bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> and we go our separate ways, right? We go our separate ways and the day goes on. Oh. We haven't seen a horse yet and we're fucking hammered. <laughs> and then, and then I, we're talking to some other people later on in the day and, and I see this group of dudes like looking at each other talking and edging closer and closer to Michael. And I remember mm. walking back and saying to someone, I can't remember what it was, this get ready. It's it, this is about to be a physical brawl. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like right behind Michael. They both look at him. They grab him and start trying to fucking punch. Do you remember that? They tackled you Dude, to the ground it, or it's something. It's all like, I have visions of the day still, but like it was. So time they all fucking it. swarmed Michael, and we all just run in, start picking them off one by one, and just beating the shit out of them. God, it was good. Yeah. And then and then the fucking cops come all of a sudden, and then it's like they're the ones who are bashed. But they're getting kicked out, and it's because there were witnesses there that were like, "Yeah, no, no, they started it, they started it," and then we're like laughing and making fun of them as they got kicked out. It was such a good feeling. It's like such a fuck you for being fuckwits moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Man. yeah. Do you remember my best punch in that in that fight? Yeah. I like this guy was sort of like. Johnny was in a bit of a scuffle with him and he sort of broke loose from Johnny and came at me. And I'm just like, <laughs> just gritted my teeth and just swung with my right hand, completely missed him and just hit John, my old oh, friend, right. right in the forehead. That's right. <laughs> you hit John. Yeah. And I was so guilty. I remember looking at his face after the fight had ended and he had like a serious <laughs> swollen chunk. Yes. That is and fun. I told him later, I was like, mate, I'm so sorry. That was me. I, like, I hit him right in the face. Oh my God. Yeah. So we were with a perfect group of dudes to get into a fire with that day. Oh, dude. Yeah. Johnny yeah, and Wally. And <laughs> messy, messy day. Oh, yeah, but fuck. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. Were you there, Brown? No, I wasn't oh, there. sad. He would have been having everyone. Yeah, that would have been, been so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely would have fucked someone. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> all right. Oh, so, um, all right, James. Um, oh, fucking, like questions. Yeah, yeah. Look, I've got a couple of just, just one question, really. Okay. So, since working for us, Marty and Michael best and worst thing about working for us because it is a look it is a very strange job it is <laughs> and like i've come it, from teaching teaching is a strange job my like kids say weird stuff but it's, it's at nothing. least but at least someone has done that before you yeah very you true know, to teach you the ways but here it's like yeah it's i think different. the best thing is just like when when we're like filming our 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 stunt videos and you just land like just that 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 odd one is sort of like a one in a hundred there's just the cleanest shot on michael yeah. and that true the true panic sets in <laughs> and we get to just have that moment where we're just no offense michael we're just laughing at you <laughs> no, it's like, yeah. it feels like old times like you know yeah, we used to fall moment. asleep and we just have the best time bullying it's just like that that michael's it's, it's such, and even michael i think is quite after the it's pain a good has time. gone off Michael, yeah, Michael, okay. Michael's um, <laughs> agony brings such joy <laughs> yeah. to millions of people. It's when truly you see me curse. filming that moment where I turn to Marty and I'm filming him and we're both laughing. That's the yeah. best part. And there's so many good things, but that is that is just it's such a pure moment. 
I'm, I'm sorry, glad. Michael, that you're no, in a bad time during I'm that. I'm glad that my pain can bring. <laughs> that's why we do it. Is we wouldn't do it if it yeah. now. I, I can guarantee you, we would not do any of the painful shit right now yeah. unless it was helping. Well, not helping, but making changing the world. Making changing lots of yeah. people up. World. There is no doubt. <laughs> yeah, making lots of people up. Well, if, we have fixed world hunger. We yep. fixed heaps of shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and the results have been outstanding. <laughs> What what is the what We've would you say? Human what would you say is the worst thing about working for us so far, James? Oh, tolls. It's hard. It's hard to what's that? Coals. <laughs> tolls. Oh, tolls. <laughs> yeah, tolls oh. is not. That's all right though. I don't mind. I got Mister Ballin. He keeps me company on yeah, the drives. That's easy. He does. But oh, it's it's hard to go past the Jackson Julian date date. Just like and it it, it spans across, but it smells. Yeah. Like sm- there is nothing on earth. Like the smell of like a mixture of piss, shit, vomit, and surstroming. You've like if you yeah, have not so had had mm. that, it is it's life changing. I've n- not forgotten that day. And afterwards, it was sort of like <laughs> Julian fucked off, <laughs> and Jackson and Lockie were off, and then we all, all us three just looked at each other and we're like, okay, well, cool, we got this house that's just covered in piss, shit, vomit, blood, thrown up wine. <laughs> Fucking everything yeah. disgusting yeah, under the sun. Fuck. I'm wearing white shoes. Oh, it was all over me. It so was, I had to shower. It was all over your fucked. face. And I shit. love a clean. You know that. <laughs> yeah, but that James. was a hard day. <laughs> yeah. As soon I have a memory Man. of as soon as opening like the Surstroming can, you just went straight away. Yeah, what the, the first time you could smell that? that was unbelievable. He just sh- he was it. like, what the fuck and is that? You thought someone shat dude, already. It reminds have me of the first time we ever smelled it. It's not the best. Oh, it's so it's so much worse than you'd expect. Dude, you have a strong nose. The first time. The first time you smell I remember the first time we smelled it, I had to get up and leave the table too. And that was without oh, yeah. even tasting. It's hands. different. It's but it's like it's, it's like different. really bad egg. Like, that's, that's your what way egg of saying good though. Different. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. like different. <laughs> yeah, Michael would be swelling it into his nostrils here right now. Oh wow, that works, James. Yeah, you James. Did, did you, you just do one there? Yeah, that's what. It's no, fine. I didn't fart. Yeah, the but swelling can, does work. It it's works. scientific. He wouldn't it be helps. wasting his energy on something that doesn't work. James has been producing some good shit lately too. Fart wise. Sometimes it's one of the other shit things though for working for us. Surely, some because when we go out and film our social experiments or do oh, dumb shit yeah. in public because that's something that you just get used to over time there's nothing you can do about it, it doesn't matter what your personality type is if you're not exposed to and completely embarrassing yourself in public in front of mm. huge amounts of people knowing that it, that it might be funny for people when they watch it on video later but in that moment oh, yeah. everyone there thinks you're a fucking loser a yep. piece of shit <laughs> that <laughs> I reckon it's hard yeah. to turn off that cringe, and it's hard to it's hard yeah. to prepare people for that. Like when we're like, "Oh, James, we're gonna go do this now," and and you and James has to be standing there filming sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone looks at him like, "Oh, you're part of this." Yeah, <laughs> I try to just have a really professional look on my face <laughs> to make it seem like no, this no. is art. There's a, there's an art oh. to this. Yeah, you, I think yes, you've been at the yes. worst one. <laughs> the boxing, the boxing in the library. Oh, yeah, that was, that tough. was hard because that woman was like next to me while I'm filming the fight and she's just like stop filming stop filming stop oh, filming like, I'm just yeah. ignoring her yeah, you Matt's be, gone he I, started the fight I, I, blew, yeah, I blew the whistle and then I just, <laughs> she came next to me and I just went alright I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh man yeah, you gotta be a certain t- you gotta you gotta be able to fucking yeah withstand that mm. and, and, until you're used to it but yeah that is cause a lot of the shit comes across funny in videos but when we're filming it especially the public shit it is fucking cringy as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I didn't think of that. But yeah, I love smells. Then that I love that though. I love the cringe shit. Michael fucking hates it. Oh man, even yeah. today, what, what <laughs> yeah. were we doing? You oh, were, no, there was a woman we at like, an ATM yeah. in oh. front of us, and I was like, "Oh, look at her! Look at her!" And her hearing <laughs> like that, two meters away, her hearing that, she wouldn't know. Oh, they're talking about me. So I knew that. I knew I had that psychologically to fall back on. <laughs> but Michael thinks she's gonna turn around it a second. So Marty's gonna awkward. keep talking. <laughs> So Michael just turns his back to the situation. <laughs> and then it's so funny because then straight away James comments, oh, Michael's just like looking the other way right now. Then we all start laughing at the fact that I'm all fucking paranoid. Michael, that's, oh. that's honestly. But no, okay. Really fun times is when Marty just lets go in restaurants. Because oh. you are, you strap yourself in. I struggle Head for that. Head down, like oh, everyone yeah. just looks at the table. And yeah. Marty's adjusted his seating to just go, <laughs> 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 farting, yeah. oh. loudest 
far. But the worst part the is when far. Marty's opposite you and oh, you've got to see the people behind know, him yeah. react. That's my it, favorite. That's if you're it directly the opposite most him, awkward you're doomed. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. But on a, I honestly think embarrassing my friends is what has made me so comfortable <laughs> in doing the public shit. Because I just <laughs> yeah. I focus on the reaction from you guys and not, not what's actually going on. And that makes <laughs> no me piss my disregard for anything else. <laughs> yeah, fucking Oh man. That's the best. It was yeah. Well, it's created some fucking laughs. Oh yeah, oath cunt. Some yeah. funny moments with you boys. Oath. All right, we, we look. We better move on. It's nearly fucking nine p.m. Holy shit! But um, James, he's been an absolute treasure uh, on the Marty and Michael team, as everyone has seen. And he's. It's just so beautiful now that we get to work with our one of our best friends, and it's just the fucking best. So if you want this life, go and fucking get out there, cunt. Get close with your mates. That's bang on. Fucking oath, brother. And now we're we living the dream. Love you too, love boys. You. Thanks for coming on, dude. And thank you guys, the, the fan people. You're such legends. I was yeah, like, I know when are. there's a new person coming on the scene, it can be like, oh, who the fuck's this? But dude, everyone's been legends. Yeah, so. it does happen. And and mm. everyone, James has passed with flying but colors obvious, obviously, for obvious yeah. reasons. That's why he's here. <clears throat> okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, Sorry. It sounds so different. Like, imagine that. You're going to have kids with that girl. We just found you your wife. They'd be pretty hot kids because she's got a good looking girl. The O'Doherty jeans, dude. Yeah, the O'Doherty jeans are is very, so, very good. You could have... Jackson would be the uncle of your children. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool to say. Imagine saying a little brown, little Greg will be... Jackson's uncle. <laughs> well, Jackson will be little Greg's uncle. Oh, you have to call your kid Greg, you know. Yeah. Oh, Connie, you probably have to leave that in. That was pretty good. So I reckon, <sighs> I reckon, yeah, Jackson's going to be the uncle of your fucking kid. Holy shit, we're back, and holy fuck, man. Holy shit, man. Fucking crazy, man. My Oh, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, Sai. Look at Matt Brown. Like, what are you doing right now? Come on. <laughs> Pretending chair. like he's working. That screen is black. There's Look. nothing on that screen. <laughs> it's off. The computer's yeah, the laptop's broken. Laptop's been off for four hours. Look at his pose. Yeah, he's trying to be a catch. Oh, That's yeah. Spider Man shit yeah. right now. Oh, no, I can't find the um... questions. All right, guys, it's time for comment of the week. And if Matt has lost it, oh, we will have to pull one out of nowhere. Comment of the week is where we pick the best comment from last week's episode, right? We cut it out and we stick it on a fucking uh, canvas. So you will be immortalized forever. We'll keep that for the rest of our lives. So if you want a comment to stay in our lives forever, write a comment. And if we pick it, it will be. Not only that, you get, you, you're get you in the running to win $1,000. Goes on the board. Goes on the fucking board, which Matt hasn't done for about 10 weeks. <laughs> but trust us, it will go on the fucking board. It has to go on the board. I've got them all, though. He's got them all. Yeah. They're just not oh, stuck on yet, all right? You can't, can't find, find the glue. Tack. There's nowhere, no store in Brisbane sells blue tack, so we just... And the printer's broken. And the printer's broken. Yeah. I'm so, in love with Isla. I've been distracted. But... <laughs> he loves Isla. Extra comment competition. Comment of the week. What is it this week, Brown? Uh, comment of the week went to Tim Carius, and his comment was Matt Brown, town, downtown, Brown, downtown, down, wholesome. Sorry. And that's every word that we know. <laughs> that's all of them. Oh. <laughs> what is he saying other words right now? No, no, no. But like they're sort of. <laughs> Matt Brown Town Downtown So <laughs> Sorry awesome. Yeah that's very good comment. Oh Very good comment That is right You are now in the running You are now in the running For a thousand dollars Because of that piece of art 
<laughs> it's good shit. That all is right. some good all shit. All right, let's quickly pump out some fucking questions, all right? So this is the question <laughs> segment where we answer your questions that you've commented on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel, and we answer the most liked questions first. So after you comment your question, have a scroll and like the questions that you also want us to answer. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Good. Um, top question. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sorry. Uh, top comment went to Jordan Peterson. <laughs> yeah. Camarado, Camarado, depending where he's from. Um, question for the podcast. Uh, what's the angriest Matt Brown has been at a Marty and Michael or have you seen him or you ever seen him that like overboard angry before? Um, I can't say I've, I don't know, like Matt angry. He, when Matt's angry, he hides it. He hides it. He, uh, he'll give flashes that he's angry, but Matt does a very good job in hiding his anger until cool. the anger has subsided, and then he he can um, come out and be himself again. So I'm pretty good to be around. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Matt, Matt's not. Matt doesn't have the personality where he will show his rage. He might have a little, <laughs> and then he will he will <laughs> compose himself and then come back and be a cool, calm, collected Matt. So we've never driven him to the. It and all like, depends if he's have. It feels like it would take yeah. a lot to drive him to be like to show his rage, and I don't think that I want that. He's come a long way. I just don't recall ever being angry at you guys, unless you haven't had. You just hit me. Just hit me in the leg. If Matt's halved, it's good. Oh, it's real good. Yeah, it's very good. Then he's been fed. Matt hasn't halved. Um, Hungry. It's fucked. Hungry, man. It's real fucked. Searching for Sorry, I'm just meal. making sure I get the top ones. He's lashed out at us. <laughs> oh, this, I found this funny. No, I'm not going to say that. Matt, he's grabs it. I haven't come. told you, Marty, but he one time pinned me down in the bathroom. I think you did tell me that, but you told me not to say anything. Matt hits. Um, next question is from Brendan Hinton. Oh. Um, his question was, uh, Marty and Michael, um, has there ever been a prank that's backfired really badly in public? Not really badly in public, but yeah, heaps of pranks have backfired. Heaps of times where I've been like, fuck, I've just like fucked myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes the messes that I make. Oh, remember the, oh, the witches of the UQ? Oh yeah, yeah. The the that that thing that was like <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes our social experiments. Um, if we accidentally prank the wrong person, then they're like, like and like, witches and, and like, shit. Yeah, like and like I'm and, gonna make that, I'm gonna make sure that you're we like, could not any more film. Life. We could no longer film. Yeah. Well, we've been banned from every university in Queensland. We're no longer allowed to set foot on any university grounds in Queensland because of one mistake is that real really i'm sure that they wouldn't enforce it very hard but we haven't really tried yeah true well we saw i've been on my yeah my grow amber graduated there yeah. i went there the other day yeah see and we've Last been year. there since but like we haven't been doing any outrageous shit what's so, your name matt brown 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 town <laughs> next question is from james kirkpatrick <laughs> um What's it going to take for one of you to pour Matt's juice over your head once it's full? Yeah, I don't know if we'll use it like that. I, w I want to make sure that we really get a lot of content out of that bottle of fuck. Mm. It's a whole oh, bottle of mints. <sighs> See if we can make pancakes with it, freeze it, use it as face cream for our friends. Remember Could that sunscreen prank we did to you? Imagine if you were just rubbing cum on your face. Yes. Could be good eye drops. Very liquidy. Is it yeah. very liquidy? Like very well, water? Oh, let's just see it. <laughs> Is it thick anywhere? Uh, sort of. It's something's growing at the bottom. Like oh, green? Is good. it green? Imagine oh, if yeah. a baby formed and it was Matt's clone. <laughs> and it turns out that that's how you clone is just you come into a bottle hundreds of times. Well, Next, sort of. Yeah, it might be that. We you, don't, you don't know until you check it, come. All right. Um, and final question. That should be the name of our channel. Oh. You like to check. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Bügelei flying in tin. <laughs> um, all right, and I'll, I'll just do last question. Bügelei. Because uh, we've got to get this going. Uh, last question is from Ryan Maddock. Um, what's something that makes Matt's, Matt Brown flaccid? Um, you can like fly it. <laughs> a healthy middle-aged lady rejecting him. Oh, yeah, that had upset me. Yeah, oh. that, that really kills his boner. Um, hot I don't know. I think hot spoons. If he's walking around with a massive erection, I'll put a spoon in a microwave for a couple of minutes and slap the end of his cock with it, and it dies really quickly. <laughs> he kills his... <laughs> and then it crumples up into this fucking sort of like a sock. Yeah, that's, that's it. It tracks into him. Well, the matter inside it tracks, but the skin is still there. <laughs> so it leaves this empty sock just hanging there. Nailed it. Well, that's just what I've seen. <laughs> I wish we. Oh, I want to remember what you said originally. Because <laughs> Tyler Flylet or something like that. That's Michael's highlight. <laughs> <laughs> what are you. What are you going to about to say? Something about him being high as you're holding a fucking baby? <laughs> oh. You're a baby holder, bitch. Oh, you man. hold babies all day and all night, baby. It's mine and I was Oh, thank you. That was a fucking good moment in my <clears> life. <throat> Wish I would sit up. All right, look. All right, we're, let's finish now. We need to know. just finish off. All right, cool. screaming segment, fuck off. Oh. We're going to have to wait till next week, all right? Next week. It's 9 p.m. We're like, at what, two hours. What's and... still open right now? I, can't. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're look, at two hours look, don't, look, the prank call this week, this, here's what I'm going to try and do, okay? I'm going to be Darren. The police wouldn't call that guy this late. It's 9 p.m. We're going to waste it on that guy. We have we, we got sent in a pretty good prank call. We'll save it for next week. Right now, Darren's going to call a business and say, look, um, I've applied for a new job. I've put you guys down as a reference. Could you, If you get a call, can you please just put in a good word for me? It might not work. Well, we I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. That's all we got time for tonight, okay? In the future, when we all live together... And Matt Brown lives in the new dwelling that we're going to. Okay, take her. We, I can do like 50 prank calls until I get one that says yes. And then we can go on. But for now, sorry. We get one shot at this. Imagine if we just use that prank. Hi, this is Nick. How can I help you? Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, my name's Darren. Um, look, I've... Yeah, Darren. How you going, yeah. mate? Um... <clears throat> yeah, so I've um I've put used down as one of my references for um a job application that I was going for um a couple of days ago. Um, I did yeah yeah I didn't actually um work for you guys. I worked at a at Southport in at the Gully, but that got shut down. So I sort of just like wrote, wrote yours ones down because that's where I sort of live near now. Um, so, okay. So I was just wondering um if I could maybe speak to the manager or something. Um, about maybe if they if this new job people call you which they probably won't even do like oh you know they never check like all the references and that but if I if 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 they do call maybe someone just say oh yeah no nah, he worked here for six months and that and he was on time and that or whatever oh yeah okay uh, I just my manager is just um, doing an order right now so. I'll have to get back to you on well, that. Yeah, I'll switch you on hold. Yeah, yeah. If you okay? w- wouldn't mind just putting me on hold, mate. Yeah, because I sort of got to get the manager involved to let everyone know. Because like, yeah, if someone like answers and says, "Oh no, I don't know, Darren," like I'm sort of like, yeah, a bit fucked in that. So yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, so I'll speak to the manager if he's if he's all right with that. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Okay, I'll just put you on hold now. Then. Sick, sick. Cheers, bro. Hi. Sorry about the wait. How can I help? Hey, no, nah, that's all right. Um. Um, so I don't know if your um, staff told you, but um, so j- just to sort of um, give you a bit of a recap, right? So I'm applying for a new job, right? And um, they asked for references. Um, I put the number down for this store, but I haven't worked at your store. I worked at um, a in Southport um, on the on the Gully, but that got shut down like six months ago. So I was just trying to film me references and that, and then I'll get a text um, late tonight saying um, they're going to start calling the references tomorrow, double-checking that. 
Um, so I was just wondering um, if he's could do me a solid um, and maybe just let him know, like, oh, yeah, nah, Darren worked here for six months um, from the 3rd um, of 2021 to the 9th of 2021 um, and just say, yeah, nah, he's all good or something like that. I just thought I'd call and just see if that's a possibility or something. Yeah, so um, do you remember the name of the managers that where you worked? At Southport? To be honest, there, there was probably like, I reckon like five of them, right? Um, and they cycled through like so much, right, that I don't remember any of their names. But I do remember some of my co-workers. There's this guy called Cody. Me and Cody got along real well. There's Katie uh, and Joanna who worked at the front. And there's another pizza guy called Peter. He come in all weekends. So it was me, Cody, uh, Peter mostly, right? And then the two chicks at the front. And um, look, it was it was a good gig. Like I'll give you that. Like he's he's know how to handle your um, staff and that. And um, I left on good terms. I left to uh, pursue my career in uh, hip hop and rapping. And um, you know, push come shove, COVID and that, right? And I've had to come back and um, yeah, say I need to apply for another like like a normal job. And I've had to put you guys down as references. So. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry, but I can't just give you a reference. You didn't work here. Um, you need to contact someone who worked at Southport. I yeah. can't help you with that. No, I hear what you're saying, but, like, I tried. Like, I, I Google it and shit. Like, I fully, like, Google Southport. That got shut down. Like, that's in my search history. I can send you a screenshot if you want. I did look into it, right? I can't find none of the managers. And I know, I know, right, that you don't want to be giving reference to some bloke you don't know. You, I might be some junky dog. You don't know nothing about me, right? And I get that. But I'm telling you right now, right, I'm straight. I'm straight up. I'm clean, clean skin. I'm straight up. I don't. I, I want this job like bad. Like you know, I must want it bad. Like I'm calling you, right? It's like ten past nine on a, on a Wednesday night. Right? I'm calling you on my knees right now, just saying please. And I don't. You don't even need to like or talk me out nothing. You can even look. How about this, right? You can even say I was late sometimes. You can say that if you want. But all I'm asking, right, and I'm asking you to throw me, the dog, a bone, right? And you got the bone in your hand right now, okay? They're going to call you tomorrow, right? They've just texted me that. So I need you to please, please, I'm begging you. I'm on my knees right now, bro. Please I'm put sorry, in a good I word for me. No, do no, no, that. I don't want to. I don't want Come on. What if one of your employees does it and doesn't even tell you, so you don't even need to be like connected to it and that? What if who answers the phone, right? You say, oh, I'm here, sorry, talk, talk to Jono. Talk to Jono and he will give you a reference. I'll pay you. How much do you want, darling? You want 400 bones? I'll, I'll, th- I'll sling you $400, brother. Two. That's I'm what. Sorry, that's like a no, week's thank work. Thank you. I'm gonna hang up the phone How now. How dare you? How dare you? I'm coming down to your shop. You- <laughs> <laughs> that was sickening. Oh, oh my god, that was something else. That was dude. a fail. No, that honestly made me oh. happy, and I, I, I fucking love Dean. I should next week. We should Who? call as Dino. Well. <laughs> I forget her name, damn it! But we should—what was should, his name? No, we should listen to the Darren, callback. Darren, you that's fucking it. <laughs> Connor. When you're listening to this, can you oh. um, message me on Messenger her name that she said her name was? Because I'm going to call back next week as the oh, the, as the, the reference, reference guy. guy. <laughs> like, oh, hey, Darren said he's worked at your. <laughs> oh, see yes. what they say. You can see just, what they say. Just keep the recording on your phone. You can just get it off that. No, but Connor might bleep the name. But Connor, what I'm saying is bleep the yeah, name. Yeah, bleep the then, name, but, but then, then message the name to, to us, me please. as you're bleeping it Sorry. at the same time. Sorry. And do it at the same time. So yeah. Don't do one after the other Sorry. at the same oh, time, man. please. That was fucking funny. I fucking love Darren. Yeah, I thought I might have had it. Do you man. channel your like childhood friend? I with- don't know what happens. You go so in depth with like explaining what he's going through. <laughs> Down on my knees. <laughs> yeah. Fucking like ice gun. Yeah. <laughs> Darren's a fucking salesman at heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay. Fuck. It's ten past nine. We got a fling clay there. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a big drive ahead. We've got to get up early and throw shit at each other. I've mm. got concrete to deal with. Matt's got concrete waiting at the house. 
We're moving in in like three days. Moving in, in, yeah. We got tomorrow and then Friday and then moving day. Yeah. And then the week starts again and we never get a break. It's got crushing. A fireworks display. It's going to be good. Anyway, guys, okay. next week we'll have a brand new set. And please like, comment, subscribe, five star review on Spotify. If we made you even smile slightly today, you bitch. <laughs> We're the best, you we fucking are bitch. We're the best. We're the best, you fucking bitch. We are the best. Best, you fucking bitch. I was the best. Bitch. We're, fucking bitch. We're the best, you We're the fucking best. bitch. We're the best. Best, you fucking bitch. We're the best. We're the best.